I didn't really feel like making this video, and I'm sure many of you probably don't even care. But I don't know, I, I guess I'm just doing this for the sake of having it done and putting it out there. Maybe I just got indulged in one of the greatest type train crashes probably of this year. So at this point, you guys know how this goes. I'll be showing you guys some gameplay at 1080p and 1440p of No Man's Sky. And in regards to my, the specs of my system, you guys can find the full list in the video description down below. However, just to give you guys a quick rundown, I've got an Intel Core i5-6600K overclocked to 4.6GHz, paired with 16GB of G-Skill Ripjaws V-Series, DDR4 memory clocked at 2800MHz, and then for the graphics card, we've got an MSI Radeon R9-390, running at a graphics core clock of 1060MHz and 1525MHz to VRAM. So here's the settings of the game, pretty much uh, have everything set to high, didn't really touch any of the uh, field of view sliders, and for the anti-aliasing solution, I'm just going to be going with uh, FXAA. So at 1080p, I get an average FPS of about 60 FPS. Not bad, but for a game that doesn't really look all that extremely detailed, uh, I expect it to achieve a higher average frame rate. Oh, and uh, by the way, those of you wondering what that stuttering is, why it's uh, dropping frames like crazy, uh, that's not an issue with the recorded video, that's actually happen happening in the game. And that made the experience a lot more worse than what it already was. So yeah, just uh, running around, experiencing frame drops, and while I'm trying to mine. What fun. But anyways, moving on to 1440p, there's not much to say here except that we have uh, a reduction in the average frame rate by approximately 15 FPS or so. I'm so happy that I decided to invest in a FreeSync monitor, as it's definitely helping with the choppiness and frame drops. At 40, 1440p, it's definitely playable, and the fact that it's running around at um, 45 FPS doesn't matter to me too much, because it still feels uh, as smooth as 60 FPS. So yeah guys, that's pretty much No Man's Sky. Overall, performance-wise, the experience isn't too bad, it's definitely still playable. There are some def um, issues that they should definitely look into and fix. Now I don't really want to bash on the game or anything, but I just want to say I feel like this game is a $20 game disguised as a $60 game. I don't think it's just worth it to me, but others might have a different opinion and that's fine. It's just not my t cup of tea I guess. I'm not really uh, invested or find myself being invested in these types of games. I mean it's kind of cool for like the first 20 to 30 minutes and so that you're in dropped in this world, um, in this planet that you have like no idea what to do. That's literally how it starts um, you're just running around mining you have these procedurally generated creatures in the map and then you're tr basically trying to fix your uh, ship and then you go explore other worlds and whatnot I mean some people might actually really like that and invest many hours into it me personally that's just not my scene so anyways if you guys like this video and found it enjoyable which I doubt then hit that like button and by all means dislike it if you want let me know your thoughts or comments down below, and if you're interested in seeing more content like this, then hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.